So, um, continuing on, um, one of the great things about doing this is that there's no real uh, fancy technology. You find yourself, you know, I, I had this little toolbox. I, I picked it up at the Salvation Army store, cheap, and just try it out. But you can use a, a cake pan, a pie pan, a, a uh, bread pan or something, anything that has a, a tight cover and basically you get all the, you know, it's like 99.9% .9 of the the charcoal in uh, organic matter in a container that's fairly tight fitting, leaks a little, get the gas out, burn off the gas, and you end up with char. So anybody can do it. There's no fancy thing that you have to make or, or really do anything except, you know, stick some stuff in your fireplace and start making some char. Now, um, organic matter, you know, if I stick these twigs in the in the ground, till them under, that's organic matter in the garden, but that oxidizes and, and um, in five, ten years it's all gone. Whereas this char will last for anywhere from uh, 500 to uh, 50,000 years. Um, it lasts a very long time. It's very stable, and it continues to act as a, a uh, habitat for microorganisms, and it holds on to any uh, nutrients, minerals, whatever that uh, uh, is in or uh, runs through the, the nutrient cycle of the place. Um, and it, de it depends on the... Uh, um, type of soil and weather conditions as far as how much like increase in yields you might have uh, but uh, it takes uh, it is sequestering carbon uh, and doing a little bit toward uh, taking things in the right direction and and everybody can do it it's very affordable now uh, what I did I've raked out the coals. They were hot coals, and I had room in this uh, tin. Ouch! So it's still hot. Um, and I just uh, put the coals in here, and in the small can, and then covered it with the large. That'll keep the oxygen out of it, and uh, pretty soon it'll be oxygen starved, and the embers will die out. So uh, at the end. Of in the morning when you get up you could rake up the, the live coals put them into some kind of metal airtight container and that has to be probably more airtight even than, than this I don't know but uh, I think the airflow here will work good to smother it out so, so you can save you know after things have burned down to coals, basically all the gas is gone and it's nothing but char. So you can take those live coals out, um, put them into an airtight metal container, close the lid and let it cool down. Um, and you're increasing the amount of char out of your home stove. And on eBay, char is going for a dollar fifty a pound uh, uh, in the U.S. Uh, you could bag it up and start selling it at farmers markets or around town, uh, or or just using it yourself. So it's it's both a uh, could be an in income generator or uh, money that you save in in your gardening expenses. Okay.